for the best medical and paramedical lectures subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay connected with us hey guys it's me rosaline and today we are going to talk about chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and let's get started about it first slide shows the normal lung and lungs with COPD so you can see the difference between normal lung and uh, lungs with COPD next definition definition of COPD says that a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a progressive disease that makes it hard to breathe progressive means the disease gets worse over time causes of COPD means chronic obstructive pulmonary disease are smoking second occupational exposure exposure to workplace dust found in coal mining gold mining and cotton textile industry and chemicals such as fumes from welding have been implicate, implicated in the development of airflow obstructions means the small particles which uh, which obstruct in a uh, airline in our uh, respiratory function functions or organs that is known as occupational exposures third air pollution sudden airway constriction in response to inhaled irritants next risk factors of copd cigarette smoking occupational dust and chemicals environmental tobacco smoke indoor and outdoor air pollution nutrition infections social economic status Next, clinical features of COPD, chronic cough, sputum production, wheezing, chest tightness, dyspnea, weight loss and respiratory infections. Next, COPD includes, means COPD is a chronic disease but it has two more types included in it. First is bronchitis and second is emphysema. In bronchitis, it is a condition in which the bronchial tubes become inflamed. You can see in this picture how the uh, alveoli of the lungs how inflamed in that. Next is emphysema. Definition of emphysema is emphysema is defined as a lung condition that causes shortness of breath. In people of emphysema, the air sacs alveoli are damaged. The air sacs alveoli becomes weak and ruptured. Diagnostic Evaluation Screening and Diagnosis Pulmonary Functions Test PFT These non-invasive tests can detect emphysema before symptoms. They measure how much air lungs can hold. They can, they can also measure the amount of gases exchanged across the membrane between alveolar wall and capillary membrane. During the test, patient is asked to blow into the simple instrument called spirometer. PFTs may be done, uh, done before and after the use of inhaled medication to test response to them. In smokers of, or, a form, or a former smoker, tests are done frequently. Chest X-ray Chest X-ray is performed to evaluate the lungs, heart and chest wall. Physicians use the examination to diagnose or monitor treatment or condi for conditions such as pneumonia, heart failure and other heart problems, emphysema and lung cancer. Arterial blood gases, ABG analysis. These blood tests measure how the lungs transfer oxygen to bloodstream and how effectively they remove carbon dioxide. Pulse oximetry. The oximeter measures the amount of oxygen in the blood to help, di to help determine whether the patient needs supplemental oxygen to the test may be performed at rest during exercise and overnight. Sputum examination. Analysis of cells in sputum can help determine the cause of some lung problems. Computerized tomography. CT scan. A CT scan allows to see the organ in two dimensional images. This is how the chest x-ray looks like. Medical management Treatment The most essential step in any treatment plan of, for smokers with emphysema is stopping, 
is stopping smoking. It's the only way to stop the damage to lungs from becoming worse. Other treatments which focus on revealing symptoms and preventing complications include bronchiodilators. These drugs can help reveal coughing, shortness of breath and trouble breathing by opening constricted airway, but they are not as effective in treating emphysema as they are in treating, treating an, uh, asthma. Supplemental oxygen. Severe emphysema with low blood oxygen levels using oxygen at home may provide some relief. Various forms of oxygen are available as well as different devices to deliver them to the lungs. Antibiotics Respiratory infections such as uh, acute bronchitis, pneumonia and influenza are leading complication of emphysema. Increasing the amount of sputum product, uh, produced and making breathing problem worse. Broad spectrum antibiotics may help reveal the symptoms but should be used with caution to avoid the serious and growing problems of antibiotic uh, resistant bacteria. Long term oxygen therapy. These are some uh, mechanical things which will be used in the hospitals. First is uh, oxygen mask. CO2 cannula means uh, oxygen cannula, oxygen cylinder, ventilators, and here are some colorful uh, doubts we have uh, we have there. Uh, these are the blue one uh, means uh, that is uh, for 24 person. That means it provides two liter uh, oxygen per minute. White one four liter oxygen per minute. Orange. Uh, 6 liter oxygen per minute, yellow 8 liter oxygen per minute and red uh, is 10 liter oxygen per minute and green means 15 liter oxygen per minute. These are the color, uh, color codes which we use in the hospital. Next, rehabilitation. For the lungs to get more air, pushed live breathing. This is one exercise which we have to tell the uh, patient who is having COPD to inhale and exhale how the breathing is more effective when we inhale through nose and exhale through mouth. Next, for the lungs to get more air, diaphragmatic uh, breathing. Sit comfortably and relax your shoulders. Put one hand on your abdomen. Now inhale slowly through your nose. Push your abdomen out while you're breathing in. Then push in your abdominal muscles and breathe out using the pushed lip technique. This is very helpful for uh, patients who is having COPD. Nutrition. Weight loss and depletion. Deplet Depletion of fat-free mass may be observed in stable COPD patients. Being overweight is associated with an increased mortality risk. Mortality risk means the death rate. Criteria to define weight loss are Weight loss is more than 10% pa past, uh, past 6 months or more than 5% in the past months. Nutritional therapy may only be effective if combined with exercise or other anabolic stimuli. The anabolic stimuli means the body builds and repair muscles. These are some stimuli which help our body to build muscles and repair our muscles. In opposite to that, that is catabolic stimuli. That means the breaking of muscles and tissues. So we need the anabolic stimuli which, uh, which the tissues will repair and uh, Build. Next is surgical management LVRS in a procedure called lung volume reduction surgery. Surgeons remove small wedges of damaged lung tissue. So, what is LVRS and how does it perform? Lung volume reduction surgery a videoscope is inserted through one through one of the incisions to allow the surgeon to see the lungs. A stapler and grasper are inserted in the order incision are used to remove the most damaged areas of the lungs. The stapler is used to reseal the remaining lung. Next is transplant means the lungs transplant. Lungs transplant is an option in severe emphysema and other options have failed. Usually just one lung is transplanted because the several rate the survival rate has proved to be higher of, uh, for people with single lung transplant than for people with double lung transplant. Self-care. Stop smoking. Exercise regularly. 
clear airways, protect from cold air, avoid respiratory infections, maintain good nutrition, express feeling and share emotions, consider a support group, uh, express feeling and share emotion, uh, emotions, why it is given here, because uh, when we have problem, you have to share with other people, so that they will have the uh, some good ideas about it, how to resolve the problem. Next, yoga practices, stress reduction, relief of pain, medication reduction. Next, nursing diagnosis, ineffective breathing pattern related to increased need of O2, O2 means oxygen, ineffective airway clearance related to excessive accumulation of secretions, impaired gas exchange related to impaired expiration of CO2 retention, self-management of COPD, exercise regularly every day or else at least 4 out of 7 days. Remember, take your vaccination regularly. The vaccination is mentioned uh, mentioned here because uh, there are some uh, vaccination we have to take in the severe COPD. Uh, these vaccination are also called pneumococcal vaccine. There are two vaccines, PCV13 and PPSV23. These are recommended for all adults and particularly to the COPD patients. Stay away from the infect infections by maintaining good hygiene. Quit smoking. Eat a regular balanced diet. Drink plenty of water, fresh water, at least 1.5 liter a day. Get plenty of slip. Thank you. That's all for today and uh, we are gonna stop here and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Do like, leave a comment and share with your friends.